going to eat guess what fried yams with um, pepper sardines corned beef hey oh by the way my baby's here say hello hello yeah okay now say bye 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 kiss 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 Mwah. yes so as i was saying we are going to eat um fried yam with pepper hi guys so um i am now in my kitchen and i went to do some shopping for my um sorry my thing keeps getting trapped and some shopping that you can see there and i am about to get ready to prepare my fried yam and fish with sardine so let's see what i got from the shop today right so i went to the cooperative i really like that shop it's one of the supermarkets that um, um that has you know most of the thing i like and it's also the closest to me so this is what i got today and this is sea bass with soy and ginger lime okay so basically it's um already spiced um fish but as you know me being <laughs> an african i am going to season it my own way and if you look here it says um still fresh because uh, it used to be more expensive but since today is um the 6th of june it's the last day so that's why i got it for a cheaper price okay well i bought two of these one for me one for my husband and i also got um some plum tomatoes um for my pepper i usually use plum tomatoes for my pepper although i sometimes use fresh tomatoes so as you can see i have a fresh tomato here but um i'm gonna use it also for my stew but i'll do something else with it and of course i'll be using some fresh onions uh, i've got some sardines here and this is for the kids because they prefer to eat fried yam with sardines uh what else i have milk um no i know i am not going to use my milk for my food today uh, i just bought it for my baby boy who likes fresh milk so that's why i have milk here and i also bought some peel shots in tomato sauce don't ask me why i just bought it because it was 69p so i thought it was cheap but i might also add it to my dinner tonight so more tomatoes and what else i have my corned beef here um i like eating my food with corned beef especially when i'm eating fried yam i really love it okay and there is more sardines here okay so let's get on to our yam so this is the yam i bought last sunday oh okay i thought it was a whole it was just a paper last sunday from um the asian market and i am going to fry this okay right so i think most of the things i'm going to use today uh, are ready so let me get ready for it hey guys so um i am now going to choose the spices i'll be using for my fish and also for my uh, fried yam so let's take a look at what we have today um okay so i will definitely be using some salt um also not not curry all purpose all seasoning as well i have some sea salt here i really like this one really um and since i'm a big fan of garlic i'm gonna be using some garlic granules and up here let me see what i have for my fish
I'm gonna be using some fish seasoning. I really like raja. I think their spices are awesome. I'm gonna be frying my yam very last because uh, I want it to be crispy and hot. If I fry it now, it will cool down and it will be very nice to eat, okay? So that's why I'm leaving it here on the side. Okay, so let's now fry our sea bass. Did I just say she bash? I will see bass fillet. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with my fish, and there are two pieces in each bucket. And you can also see here the sauce they add with it, but I'm not going to use it. So I'm gonna put this in my container, add some sea salt, and I'm also going to add about half a teaspoon of pepper seasoning, some garlic which is about one teaspoon and about one teaspoon um, fish seasoning. And then I'm gonna add about one tablespoon of oil and mix everything together and keep it aside for now. I am now going to fry this in my pan. So I'll fry it for about three to four minutes on one side and then I'll turn it over to the other side and my fish is ready now. And I'm gonna keep it aside on my plates and I'll show you how wonderful this sea bass looks like. So this is it right now, looking very tasty. <laughs> okay, so let's get on with our yam. So I usually fry Puna yam, which is from Ghana. I don't know if you use another one, uh, but this is the most popular um, yam fried in Ghana. So then I'm gonna cut it in two pieces and then into two again to have some yam buttons. Okay, and then I'll cut them in the size and shape I like. So this is how I usually do it. And then I'll put it back in my container and wash it. So let's make sure we wash our yam pieces very well. Okay. And then we are going to season it with some salt. Okay, so just make sure you taste it. And I'm now going to show you my ingredients again. So I have corned beef. Plum tomatoes. I have one onion here. I have two scotch bonnet peppers, two and a half uh, garlic cloves. I have one tomato, some pea shot in tomato sauce. I might use my shallots, but I'm not sure. Okay, I have some sardines and some ginger. So my oil is hot. Obviously not very hot, but now it's hot enough to put in my um, yam pieces and I'll wait until it becomes golden. So now I'm going to chop half an onion and a quarter and then I'll be adding my two scotch bonnet peppers. You can add more if you like, my garlic and half of my prawn cube stock and some salt. But then I'm going back to my yam and it's almost ready. I'll leave it on for another two minutes. Okay guys, so I'm grinding this for now. But in the meantime, my yam is ready. So I'm going to take it out of the oil and keep it aside for now. I am now adding just a bit of ginger. If you like more, please do as you wish. And then I'm going to grind it and add my can of tomato. I'll also be adding another half a can of plum tomato because I am uh, making a lot of pepper sauce. Okay, so grind it. Now I'll come beef. I am not leaving it like this. I'm going to uh, warm it up in my microwave. So our stew is almost ready. So you can chop half of a fresh tomato and a quarter of onion on it. And now our corned beef is nice and soft and I am going to add it to my stew. Guys, you are going to lick your fingers with it, I'm promising you. And now I'm going to add a bit of my sardines oil. So I bought sardine in sunflower oil, okay? And now add my sardines. 
I am also going to add my pizzas and tomato sauce and of course some shito. Guys, guys, guys. So this is my pepper sauce. This is rich pe pepper sauce. Pepper sauce where you are you rich. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed watching this video with me and um, that you are going to try it although I know so many people know how to do it but you know sometimes if you get a different recipe it's also nice so my sea bass is here looking nice and crispy I have my fried yam in fact my ready so thank you for watching this video leave me comment thumbs up and I'll see you next time bye bye guys love you all bye